Good morning guys, this is Rusty78609 near Carlsbad, New Mexico. It's about 38 degrees outside. It ain't much warmer than that inside. <laughs> I turned the furnace on for a little. It's a little warm. It's probably 58 in here. 60, close to 60. But anyway, this is... Oh yeah, hey uh, Alexa, tell us a joke. <clears throat> Why shouldn't you tell a secret on a farm? Because the potatoes have eyes. The corn has ears and a beanstalk. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Alexa, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? Like I care. Right now in Bangor, Maine, it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit, Woo! partly sunny skies. Makes me feel Today's warm. The forecast has mostly sunny weather, with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. A high of 28 and a low of 10. That's pretty chilly, guys. But anyway, from here in the middle of nowhere, it is still dark outside. All my neighbors are gone. I'm here by myself. <laughs> what am I going to do? I love it. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, uh, I got a couple of videos I did yesterday. I'll, I, I, did a, I drove all around yesterday. I drove around in Carlsbad. I'll post that today. And, uh, and then uh, I actually I did a, a video. <clears throat> during the high winds you know when the wind was blowing like gusts of 40 to 65 show you what happened but anyway uh what oh mike butterfield he says i'm 75 miles south of navy's top gun school 300 miles north of sin city you mean there's a a city in the usa where there's sinners in terrible <clears throat> sinners had to get me a thing to wipe my nose because Whenever I whenever I reach up and wipe my nose like this, that's the picture that YouTube picks up for the, my video every time. <clears throat> but anyway, north of Sin City, huh? So you know exactly how far it is to Sin City. Is that, that what we're getting here? Why would you know exactly how far it is, Mike? Huh? Anyway, interesting. This is Vabasser 1. Uh, RV something he says that's why there's a windsock on top of that building lol let me tell you why there's a windsock on top of that building it has nothing to do with the wind well it does have it has everything to do with the wind direction and the reason is this old oil field out here produ produced a lot of h2s which is hydrogen sulfide gas and uh, some of these old gas wells out here <coughs> still are, are able to generate enough to kill you. That's why there's nobody down here where I am. <laughs> because there's a sign here that says, well, it's well, this old well's been shut in. Well, not shut in, but it, it, it it's not producing. Let's say that. And uh, But anyway, yeah, it, H2S is hydrogen sulfide gas. They say it smells like rotten eggs, but if you smell it, you're dead. So that's the end of that. But anyway, this is about uh, Carlsbad, the uh, uh, visitor center. Janice Peck says, thank you for tour, visitor center, Rusty, host or volunteering, been there, done that, JP, all right, thank you, JP. There, there, yep, nose to the wind, I, I, I have also lightened up on my jacks a bit to let shocks buck a little, been in 65 mile an hour plus winds, haven't tipped over yet, best thing about wind is, when it's at your back really great gas great gas mpg lol and that is correct them yes yeah put your nose to the wind guys but you know these rvs are designed to be towed at 80 miles an hour so the the wind it, it, the speed of the wind is not really the factor it's if it's just coming broadside you're in trouble <clears throat> this is debbie karen c-a-r-o-n I am north of where you are. It's Sunday, and yes, check the wind. This is Deborah Fry. Very good information. Thanks, Rusty. Uh, Flash Garden. How about that name? Batten down the hatches, matey. R. Stay safe. You bet, guy. I'm working on it. Rocamo One. Hey, Rusty. I don't know what it's called, but there's something out there, like a flag. It'll tell you which way the wind's blowing. <laughs> That damn windsock has turned out to be a curse. I wish I'd have never mentioned it. Oh, golly. Anyway, Carlsbad, uh, the caverns, Mike Brandenburg. We got Mammoth Cave here in Kentucky. 
I have been there several times, but caves all look the same after a while. I got lost in one once, and that was scary, but found my way out before the lights went out. Yeah, well, you're lucky, because when the lights go out in a cave, mister, it is dark. Uh, this is car camping. Uh, this is Joshe Dean. At least you have a bucket to pee in. <clears throat> Uh, you know, there, there was an old saying about that. I can tell you where that saying came from because I found out years ago. You know, it, said, it used to say that, you, that, that people were so poor they didn't even have a, a, a pot to pee in. Well, what that goes back to is back in the old days in Europe, they were able to use human urine to process leather, to tan leather. Uh, the uric acid or whatever it is in the urine uh, helped in that process. So you could actually sell them your TT, and people had pots that they would pee in, and they'd take it to these uh, factories and sell it. Well, some people were so poor, they couldn't even get a pot, and that's where that came from. They said they were so poor, they didn't have a pot to pee in. Mike Butterfield, please, Rusty, don't pee into the wind. He don't step on, <laughs> Rusty, don't pee into the wind. He doesn't step on Superman's coat, and he don't mess around with Jim. Yeah, that was a good song. Uh, R Gray 317, does that V6 Ram pull that camper okay? Yeah, it does fine. I've aver been averaging about 14 miles a gallon uh, coming out here, and it'll get better here because it's flat, pretty flat in here. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> uh, Amish Sailor, Rusty, do you ever wonder if your neighbors are felons on the run from the law? No, I, I don't try not to think about them at all. <laughs> I don't, don't want to know. I don't want to know. I would think those remote areas would be good places to hide out. Oh, I'm sure there are. I mean, I, that's where I'd be if I was on the run. Sure. Yeah, you know, come on. I mean, you surely wouldn't want to try it. Well, I don't know. You could probably hide out better in downtown New York City. Uh, Nick 18M, he's got a link to somewhere. It says, I was there yesterday. I think it may, it may have been Carlsbad Caverns. Well, anyway, Nick, thanks for the link. Edward Maraglia. <clears throat> Uh, comment call. I have taken your advice. Uh-oh. Well, you do so at your own peril. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I have watched the Talking Heads for a week, and I've... Oh, I have not watched the Talking Heads for a week, and I feel more relaxed. Spent another $48 on Amazon today. Love your videos. Well, Edward, thank you for using the Amazon link. I appreciate it. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I get a small commission. If you use that link to Amazon and buy, uh, it, the link to Amazon products is in the description of my video. If you use that link and go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission. I've said it a thousand times. And I say that because that's pretty much what pays for this trip. <clears throat> but anyway, thank you, Edward. Yeah, don't watch, it, don't watch the talking heads on TV, man. They don't need, you know, the, we we have this feeling that somehow if we listen to that stuff that we're going to be able to give some input maybe that will solve that issue. We're not going to do poo-poo. You know, they got hundreds of committees and appointments and crap and, and advisors and this crap. That's their jobs, okay? That's what we're paying them for. <clears throat> Does voting do any good? In my opinion, it doesn't do a thing. Uh, Mike Butterfield, oh, here you go. Here's a $5 word. Pulsamanius, pulsalaminius, 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 means an angry childlike attitude. Well, whatever it means, we don't need that word, Mike. Save it for somebody else. Draco, hey, Dra or Draco, Draco, I think. Hey, Rusty, do you... Hey, Rusty, you think you're going to travel east or north this summer? Well, I'm not going east, I can tell you that. I'm in the western U.S. right now, but and from here I will go north and northwest. Yeah, more west than north. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Beauregard Rippy on the caverns. I've looked for a good Carlsbad Cavern videos for many years, and so far this is the best he found, all right? He's got a link to Carlsbad Caverns video. Apparently, <clears throat> maybe somebody did one inside the cavern. Thank you, Beauregard. Hypno Turd. <laughs> what? That's his name. That's what it's H Y P N O. Next word T U R D. I hear you. Okay, Hypno Turd. That's catchy. 
So in Carlsbad, while watching this video, I was thinking about how much you enjoy talking to people. Have you ever considered live streaming on vid vid on YouTube so you could interact with your loyal fans live? Keep the fun coming, Rusty. Well, if I had a hundred thousand viewers, yeah, because see, when you do a live stream, you got to have somebody that's there to do it with you. Okay, I mean, I could do a live stream and sit there like this for twenty minutes. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do live streams. I don't plan to now, anyway. Uh, this is Strongland Speed X. Rusty, keep track of that old t-shirt tied to top of that rusty tank <laughs> out back to see which way the wind blowing. I'm telling you, that damn windsock is going to get it. <laughs> Maybe play a movie while waiting for the storm to die down gone with the wind got tumbleweeds out there yeah got tumbleweeds out. i haven't seen any tumbleweeds where you really see tumbleweeds is you get around amarillo and lubbock texas and around pecos a little bit too but yeah and tumbleweeds can be big i mean i'm telling you they can be big i picked some up one time and i put three of them in the back of my pickup and the bed was full i'm telling you they're big rodland 100 be safe tomorrow. Keep the sand out of your eyes so you can see the, that windsock. Don't worry, babe. I'm working on that windsock. <clears throat> this is Mangus, Magnus, rather. He's got a long comment. I'll read a couple of sentences. Hey, Rusty, looks like you're having a good trip. Hang on in the wind. I've tied my camper to my truck many times in those conditions. I've watched many, many of your videos and have just now gotten on the computer, not tablet, and it will let me subscribe so i did <clears throat> anyway that's great thank you and he mentions a lot of other things i'll read it here later thank you very much magnus here's magnus again uh he says i enjoy my travels by myself sometimes i go with another person most often not though here's how i see it i'm not alone i'm just enjoying solitude i can pick up a phone at any time and call someone if i want if I do start feeling lonely while out on the road, I generally will converse with those around me. If that doesn't work, I start heading home. Rusty, you have an excellent channel. Thanks. Well, thank you, Magnus. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your travels. <clears throat> uh, Mabel Lane. Uh, Rusty, or oh, scratch that. Thanks for the tour of the museum. I love museums. I also love turquoise and silver jewelry. Me too. I really enjoyed your video, Rusty. Thanks for sharing your museum experience. Yeah, if there's a, I've, I've been in little old bitty towns and gone to museum. Uh, this is AM Blades. Uh, too much blood leaving your brain thinking about the ladies. I hope it is a girl next door. Maybe some Rusty's Rangers. Don't trust a smiling dog. I hear you. Be safe, sweet dreams. That's right. And don't pet a rattlesnake. <clears throat> Sophia Anatolis, Anatolios, I'm going on a vicarious trip from your vids. Okay, enjoy, well, I hope you enjoy it because that means I'll be enjoying it. Uh, Denise Lynn talks about the RV boondocking, using the toilet with a liner, a, a trash can liner. She says she uses a cat litter. Yeah, a, a lot of people do that. I, I'm not going to fool with it. <clears throat> Mike Butterfield comment call i make 56 million a year rusty should i take my social security or go boondocking in monte carlo or what you know it's cr funny you mentioned that i had some clients one time and one of them was extremely wealthy and he told me one time he said rusty i want you to arrange it so i don't i don't get my social security so just out of curiosity i called the social security administration and told them that this individual had enough damn money he didn't want any more and they said well uh, he, he, he'll get his Social Security. You can't stop it. I mean, you, you can, I guess you could not apply. I don't know if that, I don't, I don't know. They may automatically send it to you. But anyway, I told him he didn't want his, and they said, well, it's here. So, you, I don't know if you can. Anyway, it says, Francis Versalati, Versalati, thanks for taking down those two mirrors on the overhead cabinets. They look like two, two big eyes. They did. But the reason I took them down is when I'm traveling, they, they, they move. They move, flop around back because they're in the back. <clears throat> Bill G1527, LOL, Rusty, I was serious about doing the RVing videos from the RV place you got your solar cable shipped to. Your short and sweet 
RV videos I enjoy, as do lots of others, I'm sure. Stay safe in the wind. Good time to try out your microphone fuzzy thing. I, actually, I, the fuzzy thing does help in the wind, there's no doubt. John Hurst, the best camper review I've ever seen, LOL. He's about to travel out. I must have really screwed that one up. <clears throat> Mabel Lane, here you go. We love you, Rusty. You don't have to answer every comment you made to you. We understand. We just want you to know we love you, and we love to hear you and watch your exciting life and your RV travels. Live free and stay safe. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I understand that, but I like to review them, and, and if I, I just, it just it gives me something to do. That's one of the reasons I do it. <clears throat> Scotty Thompson's got five here or four. <clears throat> Scotty says, cool comment call Rusty. Does your Acer Chromebook use Windows Microsoft operating? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It uses Google Chrome, Scotty. <clears throat> uh, cool Carlsbad Cavern Visitor Center and gift shop, Rusty. Thank you. Cool RVing importance of checking weather talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Enjoy your day and thank you for your comments, bud. Uh, Net Caliber, you made my day. Well, I'm glad. Uh, three more of the darkness came stoned coyotes <laughs> stoned coyotes. Yeah, well, they, they get they get sometimes they get right around the RV and they go Yee -yee -yee. They make a crazy noise anyway <clears throat> Here you go darkness. I, I'm tr clearing my throat as I'm reading this one the darkness came Rusty tries some grapeseed extract for the throat clearing take that out a lot of benefits associated I says she gets the jazzy naturals anyway 90% uh, polyprofenols or whatever it is uh, actually, uh, the darkness came. It's only in the mornings, okay? And if I hadn't started doing comment call in the mornings, we, you would never probably have noticed, or rarely, because in the mornings, it, it, there's a little phlegm in the throat and so forth. But, you know, I'm not worried about it. It doesn't bother me five cents. Uh, if it bothers other people, then don't watch the comment call. Uh, rather be fishing. Uh, RV, importance of checking the weather. Great advice. I used to have a weather radio in my car. It, I got, it got me addicted to listening to the weather several times a day. Now I have a now I have walkie talkies with a weather radio in case I don't have internet on my phone. <clears throat> my friends think I'm nuts because I check the weather so often. It helps to know the wind direction and speed if I'm kayaking, sailing, or pulling a trailer. Yeah, all three of those it would definitely be uh, needed. That is a fact. But anyway, <clears throat> guys from near uh, Carlsbad, and I'm going to check with a Gear Springs today and see if they're packed. If they're not very crowded, I may go over there tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow. Because <clears throat> it's going to warm up here. The, boy, the weather forecast really changed for some reason. Uh, the original forecast for this week was, you know, low to, low 80s, you know, upper uh, 40s, low 50s for lows for the whole week. And now I looked at it this morning, and they've raised it to 91 on Wednesday and 88, 85. And so we may move on over to a Gear Springs if, if, if it's not packed. Uh, if the guy tells me there's, you know, it's not very many people there, then I'll, I'll go ahead and go over there tomorrow. But anyway, having said that, Alexa, tell us a joke. <clears throat> Why did the chicken cross the road? He got traded from the Yankees to the Mets. I, I don't know what to say. That is so... Oh, so weird. But anyway, hey guys, what else? Uh, I made a pot of beans yesterday, a pot of pinto beans. And that's going to be lunch and supper tonight because i got to eat half of them before I put the other half in my Dometic CF-18, which is full of food. Because if I'm getting ready to go to the Gear Springs, I don't want to have to stop the grocery store on the way. I want to go all the way to the campground and be there for a day or so without having to worry about going to the grocery store. And I'll get water and stuff too. And what else? Uh, <clears throat> It's still early. I mean, what time is it? What time did I get up? I didn't tell you that, did I? It's 6.16 a.m. on March the 19th. Okay, March 19th. Wow. 6.16. I've been here a week. Well, I left on the 11th. Well, I left on the 12th. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I have to say this, the batteries are holding up good, everything's working out fine, so, you know, knock on wood, just keep it going. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So, anyway, guys, from boondocking out here in, near Carlsbad on a, on a BLM piece of land, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything your little heart desires, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my video. Why? 
because I get a small commission and you know the drill and uh, it doesn't cost you anything so if you're gonna buy something from Amazon and you want to help out we'll do it uh, what else uh, yeah somebody's been using it and I and I appreciate it so pat yourself on the back I really do appreciate that those of you that have used it and are using the Amazon link what else uh, drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day will not hurt you it's good for you it will help you avoid gout kidney stones and it will help you lose weight because you'll be full of water okay it does help I'm, I'm telling you the truth <clears throat> what else take deep breaths breathe in deep hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure is good for you okay and what else? Stretch, 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 walk, 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 do all that stuff. I'm going to do it when the sun comes up and warms things up a little bit. And uh, in the interim, I'll eat breakfast and and do something else. Uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Okay? So don't let negative Ned, scratch that, negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. And for those of you that have taken the time and the effort to turn off the talking heads on TV, that was a very, very, very wise choice. <clears throat> You'll never regret it. I don't watch it at all. And, you know, the world doesn't end because I don't watch that pain and misery. Okay? I mean, if you, if you, the way to do it is this. If it's, if it's something you feel so strongly about that you'll get off your butt and go do something about it, get you a sign or go talk to your congressman or write letters or make calls. If you do that, then get in there and get them. But if you're not going to do that, then t either get all the way in or all the way out. In the middle, you're being pulled both ways. Okay? So don't do it. Don't, don't just get yourself pulled apart. Make a decision. Look at the, look at the, the topic, whatever it is, and just make a decision. Am I, am I so interested in that that I'm going to get active? Or not if it's or not if you're not then forget it anyway enough said thumbs up guys enjoy your life one day at a time keep your health and we'll maybe on the road again tomorrow we'll see adios amigos bye bye